Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you're watching. Today we are doing a thread up unboxing. If you're familiar with the way I, I normally do thread up unboxings, this is going to be a little different. I did mention in my last thread up unboxing, which I'll link here at the end, I had ordered three of their 50 pound denim rescue boxes back in October when they had a code for 15% off. And so I got three of the 50 pound boxes and I had $10 credit. So one of my boxes was only 35 because the shipping was essentially free with my $10 credit. And then the other two boxes were 45 a piece for shipping, but they were shipped to me differently than normal. So normally they have these great big boxes that they ship all 50 pounds of the denim in. They have little teal circles on them and they say thread up. They're very recognizable if you've ever ordered from thread up. You know what I mean? They're branded boxes and they're big and they send all 50 pounds. And I've ordered three boxes at a time before and five boxes, even more. And they always come in these big boxes each order. This time the boxes were a little smaller. They were still branded thread up but they were just a little bit smaller. So my order came in three of those smaller boxes and three of these huge poly bags. And those were also branded thread up. I know on my last unboxing, some folks were saying, well, maybe the box busted open and the postal workers at the post office had to rebox it. But no, because the boxes and the poly bags were all thread up branded. So I know this is how they packaged it at the warehouse. So they did three boxes and three bags. I'm thinking they might have just had smaller boxes on hand and didn't have the giant ones. So they put as much as they could in these smaller ones and then essentially filled the order the rest of the way by packing these big poly bags. It's not that important except the way that I normally do these videos. We go through the box. We look at all the brands. We talk about them because this is a teaching channel. So I don't just unbox. I try to talk about some of the brands and kind of teach as I go. And then I usually keep track of what's poop, you know, or like undesirable brands, what's bread and butter, and what are the bolo or the money brands. And then I count how many individual pieces I got at the end and how much per piece I paid. But now it's all mixed up, so I can't do that. Um, two of the boxes were falling apart when they got here because they just dropped them off on the porch in the rain, didn't bother to ring the bell or let us know they were here. Um, and so Keith has just been washing and drying all of the jeans that came in the six different the three boxes and three bags and then just boxing them back up into our boxes here as they come out of the dryer so my plan just to get through the, the big order I did of the three 50 pound boxes I'll just open one of these at a time on the channel we can still see what I got we can still talk about the brands it's still an unboxing um you know, we can assume still that I pay like a dollar fifteen to a dollar eighty-five per pair. Usually, when I pay the full price for the box plus shipping, it comes out to like a dollar seventy per piece, give or take. Because sometimes they put a bunch of shorts in and you get more pieces. Sometimes they put denim coats in; they're heavier, you get less pieces. But since these boxes were uh, thirty-five, and then two were two of them were forty-five, and then the one was thirty-five because I also had the ten-dollar credit. They're going to be cheaper. So these are probably going to be more towards a dollar, maybe dollar eleven, all in. Um, but let's just see what's in this box, okay? So these are Virtue. I should put my eyeballs on because, you know, I'm old and I can't see. The Virtue. Okay, I've never heard of these. So we're going to comp these together at the end. If you're not familiar with that, um, what I do when I find new to me brands, I save them up and at the end, I'll share my screen and we'll hook them up together. And in the meantime, if you're familiar with a brand that I'm not, you can be screaming at the screen to tell me what it is. <laughs> All right, next up we have Ann Taylor Loft. Um, these are like low end bread and butter. I wouldn't necessarily call them poop. I wouldn't thrift them on purpose. I wouldn't go to the thrift store and pull these off the rack. But I'm never displeased when they come to me in a thread out. These are also cute because they have the zipper ankles. So those are all right. I'll probably put them up for 10 for shipping. 
Uh, ooh, Money Brand, Adriana Goldschmidt. I still start these around um, 35 to 40. So like 25 to 30 with shipping. I'm going to set these aside because they're many. All right, we've got Signature Levi Strauss Boyfriend. So Levi Strauss is bread and butter. There are some Levi's that are definitely bolas. All are good. Even your bread and butter ones. Even the Levi's you can find at Walmart are good. Uh, it's a trusted brand. It has a loyal customer base. So those are good. I got some shorts. Y'all know I love to get my booty shorts. Forever 21. So, you've heard me say it before and you're going to hear it again today. Denim shorts, cutoffs, booty shorts, are their own entity. A lot of times, you can take a poop brand like Forever 21. I couldn't sell these folding jeans if I pay somebody to take them from me. They're poop. But these really cute button fly, short, cut off, Daisy Duke like denim shorts, I can probably get like 18 to 19 for all 18 to 19, maybe even 20 for them. All in. So you have to decide how you want to break that up if you were listing them. You could do like 18 free ship, 12 plus 6 ship, whatever. Um, that was a mouthful. I was trying to talk too fast. And no, I don't edit. Y'all know that. All right. We have Universal Thread. Eh, poop. Still sell them, though, all the time. They come in these boxes a lot, that brand. Put them up for, like, you know, 10. 8 to 10 plus shipping. American Eagle High-Rise Jagging. This is one of my favorite bread and butters. And these are a small size, size zero, skinny, dark wash, nice looking jeans. I like the really small sizes. They're the opposite of the plus sizes. You'll always do better with plus sizes. You can ask for more money. On plus sizes, they have a faster sell-through rate. But your really small sizes are the same. I think it's because the mid-range, the middle average sizes are easier for folks to find. And less people are those average sizes online shopping. When you're plus size or very small size, it's harder to find clothes in your size. And those are the folks online shopping. Poop. George. These are George regular 2930. So these are men's. So even though these are poop, I'll probably put them up for 15 plus 10 shipping and see what happens. So if you hear me call something poop, and then wonder why I'm still listing it. It's because even though it's considered poop or technically not a brand that I would purposely source, if I was at Salvation Army, I would not grab those George jeans. Even if they were 50 cents, 99 cents, it wouldn't matter. I would pass those up. They're not a brand that I look for. They're not a brand that I consider to be good for reselling. But when you purchase a wholesale lot or you purchase a big bulk buy, you want to pinch every penny of profit that you can out of that buy so if you paid one price all in plus shipping and had an item a box of items delivered right to your door you want to list as many of them as you can you want to make your money back and as much profit as you can and so if the items are sellable sell them list them it's not a waste of your time to get every single ounce of profit you can out of a bulk buy I always make sure that I go through and pull out the money brands and the really good bread and butter brands and get those listed first, of course. But short of being damaged beyond the ability to resell it or just ripped and torn or stained, every piece that comes out of these boxes is going to get listed. And I'm probably not going to ask for less than 18 on even the most poopiest brand. And that means like, you know, 8 plus 10 shipping um, or 11 plus 7 if they're I still call it first class. So keep that in mind when you do your bulk buys. Um, you want to get as much profit as you can. I like bulk buys because I don't have to leave the house. I don't like to leave the house. <laughs> you guys know I'm a hermit. I don't have to leave the house. No wear and tear on my car. I'm not paying for gas. I'm not going store to store and spending hours going through the racks. I get tons of stuff delivered right to my door. And it's really, really convenient for us in the wintertime when it does get cold up north, 
we get snowstorms, we get icy roads, it gets really cold with the wind chill factor and people, we just don't want to go outside. So it is convenient. Um, I do go to the thrift stores a lot during the spring and summer, but I really like bulk buys and then I like to get as much profit as I can out of them. These are the, oh, these are cute. And they're literally called the cutoff. So they're lucky brand jean shorts. Now I normally start my women's jeans from Lucky Brand, the full length jeans, at like 15 plus 10 shipping. I'm gonna do the same with the shorts because again, denim shorts fetch a higher price than their counterparts than like the full length. So we're gonna see if I can get, um, I won't do like 15 plus 10 shipping on these though because they are like, they feel like they're gonna weigh probably 10 ounces maybe. So I'll probably do like 18 plus seven shipping maybe. We'll see how I break it down. It's all the same. Just how it's perceived. Rue 21. Poop. This is like the bottom of the barrel mall brand. But these aren't too shabby. They're cute. Um, the button. You see how the fly is crooked? That's kind of a neat style. I'll probably ask like 10 plus 10 shipping on these, really. Oh, these are putting fly. Oh my goodness, they are cute. That's a really cute fly. So yeah, I will do 10 plus 10 shipping on those. These don't want to come out. And then I'm gonna pull it and 50 million pairs are gonna come out of lines, right? Oh no, don't fall out. All right, we have Banana Republic El Pupo. <laughs> These are the biggest poops of the poops, but guess what? If I ask for 18 all in. Um. Express, again, just like a dumb mall brand. I call that a dumb mall brand. How rude of me. I don't know if this brand might be smart. It might be intelligent. It's a low-end mall brand. Let's see. We've got, oh, speaking of more button flies. I love button fly jeans. You know what I do with button fly jeans? I tack on a couple bucks. Because I feel like it, uh, a feature you can charge a little bit more for. So American Eagles, for instance, I usually do 10 plus 10 shipping. If they're button fly, I'm going to ask for 12 plus 10 shipping. If they're men's, I usually do 15 plus 10 shipping or 17 if they're button fly. You can ask more money for men's clothes too. These are Peace, Love, World. I've never heard of these. So we're going to comp these at the end. Let's set them right there. Let's see if I can pull these out without throwing them all over the floor. Ooh, Levi's 515 shorts. And they're a size 10, which is a middle brand, a middle brand. A middle size, but they're Levi's 515. Um quickly. Off the top of my head, I don't have it memorized. But I'm gonna check out my jeans guide real quick. I do have a pricing guide that's included with my jeans guide. And I want to see what I normally do for the full length. So for full length 515s, I usually do 30 plus 10 shipping. So these might be shorts that I do maybe like 32 plus 7 shipping or 8 shipping. I mean, because the full length goes for a lot too. 515 is one of my favorites. I just threw stuff all over the floor. I told you that's going to happen. Old Navy. Ooh, and they're ripped. Believe it or not, guys, ripped jeans <laughs> are actually more valuable. Sometimes you can ask for more money, but I find that they sell quickly. They have a higher sell through rate. I'm going to see what I threw on the floor. Lucky Brand. The Brooke Legging Jean. So these are these feel pretty lightweight. So they will probably ship at 15 ounces. So I'll put them up for... Like 18 plus 7 ship. Oh, these look cute. These look pretty. They're going to be, yeah. I'm like, oh, they look so cute, but they're not going to be a good brand. They're Bandolino, which is Poopolino. <laughs> this is poop, 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 poop. Don't ever buy this. Lots of poops. All right, this is cute, though. So, you know, 
I may have to take that back and just, you know, give it one poop instead of all the poops that I gave it when I was writing it because they're unique. So a lot of times if you can find something in a plus size or that has a unique print or a unique graphic, even if it's a poop brand, it's still worth picking up if the cost is right, a couple bucks or less. Um, because sometimes it's about how something looks more than the brand. These are cute too. Can you see that? Can you see that? Are your eyes open? All right, we've got ooh, Paige. I love Paige. These are some that I still start around like 30 plus 10 shipping. Um, I usually accept, you know, 25, but start high because you never know. If you start high, you might sell it at your asking price. And if not, then you can do an offer down to what you were willing to take anyway. And you have room for your own sales. And psychologically speaking, people like sales. Um, just real quick, I'm going to insert this small teaching moment. But imagine, if you will, you're in a mall and there's three stores in a row and they're all selling the same thing. Each store is selling something that you want. You're there to shop for, whether it's for yourself, a Christmas gift or something for someone else or something you need. So each store is selling the same things, essentially. The first, the first store you pass isn't running any sales. The second store is running 10% off. The third store is running 25% off. Now let's say the first store, everything's 30 bucks. The second store where it's 10% off, everything is $34 and 10% off I think would be 30 bucks. And then the last door, everything's like right at 38 and 25% off, marks it down to 30. It's all going to be 30 bucks at the end, but you don't know that from the outset. So you're looking, which store are you going in? The one with no sales, the one that's 10% off, or the most enticing one at 25% off. Once they get you in the door and everything is 25% off, you're excited because you're saving all this money. You're probably, and most people aren't going to, go back to the first two stores and price compare. And it's going to be the same price anyway. So think about that when you're doing your pricing and you're running your sales. You can price things higher and then run sales to bring it back down to be more enticing. The overall price can be the same as everyone else's, but it's that sale that's going to get people in the door. It's psychological. People like to get a deal. I like to get deals. I go to Bath and Body Works only a couple times a year when they're doing their really big sales, like right around Christmas and Mother's Day. Um, they really can't entice me to get in the door as any other time of the year. And I buy everything I need when they have those big sales. I get six of those wallflowers, you know, to last me for six months till the next sale. So a lot of consumers think that way. A lot of buyers think that way. They want to feel like they're getting the biggest deal they can. So keep that in mind. That's something I've taught on this channel for a lot of years, but I haven't really talked about it in a long time. It may be time to talk about sales and psychology again, right? Poop. Don't ever source these guys. But if they come to you in a wholesale, list them. These are actually like um, capris, and they feel like they're going to be under a pound. So I might do like 10 plus 7 shipping because it's a poop brand and they're capris. Oh, more stuff on the floor. What the heck? Is what? I don't like these. They look like underwear, and they're not, though, but they did for a minute. They look like underwear, and I was really going to freak out. Why do I feel like this is going to be... I've never heard of this brand, but I feel like it's going to be worth money because it looks like underwear. It looks silly. And a lot of those really high-end brands... I mean, y'all have seen the fashion shows, what they do, right? I'm not going to judge anyone. We're going to look those up. But I really... It's not underwear. Look, it's not. I promise. It's regular jeans inside. It's just like right here. It's supposed to look like your underwear is sticking out of your jeans, I guess. Is that the fashion? What do you get young kids doing these days? Let me grab these real quick without having to stop and start recording again. We've got me, Classic Fit. They're plus size. Oh, they're 12s. They're not plus. 14 and up is considered plus size. They looked like plus. 12 is good too, though. And I'll take these any day of the week. 10 plus 10 shipping. 
Ooh, high rise skinny Levi 721. I have a feeling that um, those are some that I charge a lot for. According to my guide, no. <laughs> okay, so these are 15 plus 10 shipping, but still, that's solid bread and butter. Um, the 7-Elevens are the $30 ones. All right. Ooh. Oh, no, those are still the page. I'm like, ooh, another pair of page. No, it's the same page. All right, so now we get to screen share and comp these guys that I don't know. So let me share my screen with you guys. And we'll look these up. Entire screen. Share. Okay. I'm just going to be real small over here. Okay, let's go here. And let's look at these ones first. Um, I wanted to, I was hoping to see a size. Pretty sure they're men's. They are men's. And they are size jeans. They're size jeans. Does nobody put sizes on their pants anymore? I mean, I could find them later when I'm measuring and stuff, but. I'm sure it's on here somewhere. It's just hiding. We'll just look at the brand. All right. Jean. All right. But how would I look up? Like the ones with the underwear sticking out. I mean, when I put that, when I, when I type underwear, underwear beans, I don't know. No. Um, I mean, men's jeans, inner, I, I don't know how to look these up. I, I'm like at a loss. Here we go. Brief pants. Woohoo! That's what they're called. So these are new tags and they sell for roughly $46, $47 all in with shipping. Um, I'm going to actually look these up now that I know what they're called. Brief pant. Brief. Brief. Well, Star can't tie, or nor, nor she can't she talk today, apparently. Well, there's only one pair that's new. No used. I'm still pretty excited about them. I think they're going to do well. Um, I want to check pi um, Pirate Ship. Let's go check Pirate Ship. Let's check Poshmark. I wish I could tie it. Brief pant and men's. I don't see any. So these might require some research, but I have a feeling they're going to go up for like 35, you know, maybe 40. I don't know. All right. Now, so I'm happy with those. They're fashionable. It's great. Yay. So these are Peace, Love, World. Peace, Love, World, Women's Jeans. And I'm seeing all over the place prices. I'm going to call them bread and butter, though. It looks like they're mostly bread and butter. Let's see what they actually sold for. Yeah, I mean like 20 bucks, some a little bit more. It might have gotten by, so I might try for like 24, so like 14 plus 10 shipping. All right, next up we have Virtue. Denim of Virtue. Okay. Denim of Virtue. Denim of Virtue. That means jeans. So the, we're still in the solds. We got 26. We got 25. That's decent bread and butter. 
Yeah, that's decent bread and butter. I'd probably source these for 99 cents. Uh, I sell 20 and $25 jeans that I get for 99 cents all day, every day. Love it. All right, so that's this box, guys. I'll be back later in the week with another one. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything you saw in this video, jeans, thread up, reselling in general, you know what to do. Leave it in the comments. I do get behind on answering those sometimes. So if you want a quick answer or you need a rapid response, join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. And then you can tag me in there. And I'm really quick to answer folks in there. Plus, there's a lot of really great people in that group are super helpful and very nice and are more than willing to answer questions and help you guys out. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.